Welcome to this short tutorial on VidBlaster X version 5 switcher modules and buses. There are four different types of buses available in VidBlaster X version 5. The program, the mix and the auxiliary bus and the effects bus. The first three of them really act the same in that one source is selected at a time and that will be the output of the bus. The effects bus on the other hand can have multiple sources active at the same time and the resulting video stream is the combination of these sources. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. And we start with the typical program bus. Four sources in, one of them selected, and the black source selected will be the output of the bus. If we select source 2, source 1 is inactive or deselected, and the red is the output of the bus. Same if we select source 4, that becomes the output of the bus. So one source active at the time. If we compare this to an effects bus instead, we start with the same situation, one source active and that is the output. Now for each source we can do some settings, for example for positioning and scaling, so that when we turn source 2 on, that position in scale is applied and the red is added on top of the already active black source 1. Same thing for source 4, we apply the settings and we show it and it's added on top of the previous ones. Same thing for the green source 3, when it's active it's combined with the other three active sources. Note the order that the resulting video stream is stacked. The black source is at the leftmost end of the bus and ends at the, bot at the bottom, while the blue source is at the rightmost end of the bus, so it's at the top. The green source is behind the blue, since it's to the left, and it doesn't matter in which order I turn the sources on. If I want to change the order that they are stacked, I drag and drop the sources to the correct position. So by moving the blue source to the left, it ends up behind the green source. So to summarize, we have four different types of buses. Three of them can have one source selected at a time, while the effects bus is specifically used to creating more complex results by combining multiple sources. For example, for picture-in-picture, side-by-side, or other types of combined effects. The chroma key is also in the effects bus. And do remember, the output of one bus can be used as the input of another, so you can comp create complex routing scenarios.